Thank you very much, uh, Excellency Ambassador, uh, IDSA team. Thank you for providing, for being part of this uh, South Asian Connectivity Conference. The topic uh, which I have chosen is uh, quite interesting because uh, it's very new topic. It's an old concept but new starting. Uh, in 2016, the bilateral and theoretical security uh, agreements, uh, which has been done on strategic uh, relations of Chabahar port and development of Chabahar port. Thank you. As I uh, was a part of uh, uh, this uh, conference, many uh, panelists uh, discuss about the connectivity and uh, the moving forwards of connectivity to political and uh, economical perspective and regional integration. Uh, the small step uh, for the integrations is toward the connectivity. Uh, Chabahar port is not a small project uh, for uh, included countries. It's the biggest project for the connectivity in the Asia or other than other world. This is a uh, magnificent uh, time and the reality of the connectivity which is uh, started towards from different perspectives I just wanted to uh, have uh, direct uh, on the paper which we are working on it and this is our project uh, that the str we will analyze the strategic analysis of the port and the development and the real development of the port, the consequences, the depths, uh, the opportunities uh, which will provide for three countries, Afghanistan, Iran, and India, we will have uh, a brief history of the Chabahar. We will have a significance of uh, implication for Afghanistan uh, as well as for India and for Iran. And the conclusion of uh, our opportunities, business opportunities in Afghanistan, and as well as uh, export promotion. As I work for the Ministry of Commerce and Industries of Afghanistan, so I have a good experience of connectivity directly. When we are exporting our products from outside the country, we have seen many difficulties and many problems. And that's the starting of we, how you see that where is the problem for the connectivity. Recently, Afghanistan India had reached a conscience called the Chabahar agreement which will give Afghanistan access to Mumbai port. Chabahar is located in the Gulf of Oman. This is a major strategic gain for Afghanistan for having access to Indian Ocean where Chabahar port enter over the world. Not only it will give Kabul immediate access to Iran and India, it's longer time provide access to the energy resources of Central Asia. All through Afghanistan is a landlocked country. It is a potential regional hub. Afghanistan foreign trade is dependent upon the main transit routes uh, which cross Pakistan like any other landlocked countries. Afghanistan faces high transit cost and long delivery delays. At the same time, due to a strategic hydrocon standard country like India, it gives access to international route South Corridor, which additionally helps in reaching the Central Asia and the Republicans. The strategic location of Gulf Oman is a huge potential and significance. 
It is the new beginning for Afghanistan, India, and Iran relations. As Chabar is located in the um, Sistan um, uh, of Iran, which is located in Balochistan province, the port provided an easy access to Indian Ocean as well as Oman and Persian Gulf. The work on this port started in 1973, but the Iran revolution delayed uh, and uh, there are some selections on the Iran, so that's why the port development stopped. The port proved virtual during Iraq war and it was um, uh, 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 some uh, relations uh, carried on the through to work again on the Chabahar port development. The objective was for our paper is for present the research concept of Chabahar port strategic analysis and its geopolitical importance the distinctive roadmap which will base on a prior division of a thematic array areas followed by a different related factors furthermore the documents include the synergies of international trade term project sustainable economic development efficient building permanently suggestions for update implementation action plans and standardization of Afghanistan international relation as well as action for industry trade economic development construction sectors IT sectors energy sectors and policy regulations we attempt to highlight the significance of the Afghanistan Chabahar port development strategy planning attempts to the highlight the Chabahar Ports Development Strategy Planning. This will allow for the maximum container transit with the minimum resources such as the service of capacities, human resources and financial potential in order to expand such as Afghan container transit. It should be noted that the strategic ob objective of the business strategy and its implementation can be arranged only after the port vision and mission obviously delineated for further purpose of improving impro improving uh, outcome of the port operational management it is recommended to concentrate a new strategies such as exploit a transit corridor for development of the Afghanistan port the main part of this port and the main part of our policy paper is dedicated to evaluate the role of Chabahar and its strategic depth and importance defining existing Afghanistan could gain an alternative to Pakistan for its smart term. Afghanistan will share access of potential competitors in the Persian Gulf and making relationship between India and Iran for the consequences of trade. Economic implication for Afghanistan in this paper highlighted is future plans include an international north-south transport corridor through Iran to Russia and Europe. According to territorial agreement between India, Iran and Afghanistan on Chabahar port development, Afghanistan has not only access Indian Ocean. It has to access Oman Sea, Persian Gulf and other Arabic states. Due to political tension between Afghanistan and Pakistan, Afghan trade is seriously affected because of most of Afghan products is exported to India via Gawadar. According to the Afghanistan-Pakistan Transit Agreement, also known as APTA, is a bilateral trade agreement between Pakistan and Afghanistan has the right to import duty-free goods from Pakistan. The treaty signed 1975 gave Afghanistan the right to import duty-free goods through Karachi, but several times the agreement did not apply because of a political tensions. As you well, the Pakistan closed all the gates for our products. When the season is coming from our export, the gates are closed. So this is the serious problem. That's why Afghanistan is looking Chabahar as a strategic depth that we can easily 
access to the Indian Ocean and not from the Indian Ocean to the rest world and we can export our products. Chabar is an alternative for Afghan transit uh, trade. It is an opportunity for Afghan trade to access sea where Iran and India in the agreement both sides Iran and India will provide facility of investment. This is sort of too much important that uh, in this port uh, for Afghanistan provide the facility of investment uh, and export as well as according to agreement um, Iran has allocated uh, 50 hectares of land for Afghanistan that uh, uh, Chabahar freight trade zone uh, around 130 Afghans traders or companies already um, uh, registered there and they invested uh, and they already started investing uh, in the Chabahar. Moreover, Chabahar will provide opportunity for FDI for Afghanistan is very much important because we have very good opportunities in the different sectors such as energy, energy um, uh, mines and other uh, uh, important sectors that we can, we can provide facilities for the investment and as well as for the uh, export promotion. This is an a, a important part of the, uh, the our trade that we are uh, dependent on the limited uh, ways and we cannot export our products to other ways. India, in Iran and Afghanistan have signed this agreement for the perspective of different strategies and policies. Afghanistan will rather focus on the perspective of economic development in Afghanistan, international strategy for governance, economic growth, priority reductions, the phenomena should use from the different sources such as Afghanistan national development strategy, ANDS, international trade strategy and national export strategy. This port has not only a significant important for Afghanistan and India, it has very good opportunity for Iran as well, that Iran is a large country and its southern and eastern parts are underdeveloped and are met by insurgency development uh, of Chabahar port will bring a great benefit for these underdeveloped areas. Connection of Chabahar with Afghanistan and Central Asia will boast Iranian economic growth and development as well. The main significance of Chabahar port of Iran, the Chabahar and Zahidan will link to Delhi, the rest Iran railways network. Moreover, Iran will find the easy way to enter Afghanistan and other Central Asia countries. Afghanistan market is much important for Iran because most of the product Afghans importing from the other countries. The importance of this note is also for the India is Chabahar offers access to Afghanistan, Central Asia and Europe and India got involved in the building this port in 1990s to gain access to those regions, regions Chabahar port holds important in India economic ambitions. India is busy in constructing roads in Iran and Afghanistan in order to concrete Chabahar with Afghanistan and Central Asia. Between 2005 and 9, India has spent 100 million to construct a road of, from Dilaram in Afghanistan to Zaranj at Iran, Afghanistan border. Iran has also constructed a road between Chabahar and Malik, which is close to Zaranj. Through Malik, Zaranj and Dilaram, connectivity has been established to the Afghan Grand Road, which connects the major cities in Afghanistan. Herat, Kandahar, Kabul and Mazari Sharif, once this port in inaugurated with International North-South Transit Corridor, Transport Corridor, it will have access to Russia and Europe. For the, for, for not only uh, in, uh, with the regional, for the regional connectivity integration, uh, internally uh, in Afghanistan, with the help of Chabahar, we can develop our um, uh, eastern and uh, different uh, parts and we can develop the share a uh, different um, uh, opportunities with the uh, related or uh, included countries. In this paper, we focus on the um, India's plan for Chabahar, which is very important for 
the included countries that India will develop a, operate the Chabar port uh, for global and recently formed part project investment arms, the uh, shipping ministry and joint venture between the Jawaharlal Nehru Port uh, Trust and the Kandala Port will invest uh, 85 million in developing two continuous bridges with a length of uh, 640 meters and three multi-cargo bridges. From the third year, India will facility uh, 30,000 20, uh, 20-foot equivalent of cargo at the port, and the quantum will rise to 250 million to you by the tenth year. State will Runway Body Air Can International will set up the railway link at Chabahar to move goods right to Afghanistan and the 500 kilometer link between Chabahar Zahidan will link Delhi to rest Iran's and railway network. Also part of agreement is a free trade zone where the total investment was one lakh crore is invited. India companies would be a range industry for aluminum similar use plants to recall region state owned and will be a minimum simulated. The, the, in the paper which we focus on the depth of this uh, Chabahar port, we targeted some areas and to show that the Chabahar port is not anti CPAC project. It is the opportunity, it is the port we have built it for opportunity in every single country who wanted to come to join Chabahar, they can join it. So this is the clear mindset. Many, many um, countries or especially Pakistan is thinking that this is the, the port which is designed for the anti-CPAC. So this uh, thinking is totally uh, illogical. And the port depth which we targeted is India, Iran strategic Chabar port will boast trading with Afghanistan by which Arikan International will be uh, railway track and this railway track is also for Afghanistan, for Afghan connectivity is important and uh, we already uh, um, uh, found the things in this paper that Afghan side is also trying to convince other countries uh, to come and join Chabahar and this port uh, will provide opportunity for the rest region. Chabahar pro will provide an alternative route for India to Afghanistan and Central Asia by passing Pakistan, reduce the dependency on Pakistan uh, for trade with Afghanistan and its related neighboring, neighboring states. Unfortunately, we are dependent right now on the trade. And this Chabahar port will give us the time to be independent in the trade and the development. The third important thing which Afghanistan is looking to this port as a strategic depth is uh, investment in Afghanistan via Chabahar. We are looking to investment uh, in different sectors. We have huge resources and opportunities and uh, Afghanistan is the land of opportunities that via Chabahar we can, uh, we can build this, uh, we can share these opportunities with the rest uh, region countries. Fourth part is the Chabahar uh, and its road connectivity to Central Asia. It's a very important that to Chabahar we will be uh, having road connectivity and uh, countries can easily access to their markets and their trade. So it will be a good uh, sign for the countries to join and to work together to develop the port. The fifth gain is Afghanistan will get politically sustainable connectivity with India. We, we our all export as I mentioned that I work for the Ministry of Commerce and Industries and our biggest export to uh, from from our international ex uh, trade is all uh, biggest export to, to India so India market is uh, is very important for us uh, and uh, we have uh, uh, targeted India market for our dry fruit fresh fruits and always our traders are exporting this uh, uh, this uh, products to India, but Chabahar will provide the facilities for the uh, uh, biggest uh, uh, opportunity in our export promotion and uh, our government policies and our uh, economic policies are uh, 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 focusing on that, that how we should build the export and how should we, uh, uh, we have uh, uh, easy access to the VAC to India and rest countries. 
The, the seventh point, which is uh, very important in this paper with the V focusing on it, is uh, uh, no need to be dependent on Pakistan because this philosophy should be changed. Uh, they, cha they close 30 for uh, approximately uh, for one month the, the gate and for due to political tension, Pakistan. So uh, our markets were stabilized and we try to uh, 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 we have uh, uh, we managed all the uh, the things which they think that okay everything will be uh, the trade will be uh, uh, destroyed and uh, the 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 demotion will come the twenty percent of trade will reduce with Pakistan so this is uh, all the policies which is they had and they followed that's why we 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 found the new ways which in the geography and we wanted to uh, explore these ways uh, very well. And uh, we will try our best to um, to declare this policy paper with uh, uh, with our Indian and uh, Iranian researchers together. This is a trilateral work. As soon as possible, um, uh, we will declare this policy paper. And uh, uh, thank you very much. It's a pleasure and honor to be here. Thank you. <laughs>